All right, this is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 13. We're going to continue using our math drawings to uh, represent subtraction, but now uh, we're really going to be getting closer to that standard algorithm. The other difference is uh, instead of using literal number disks, for example, if we wanted to model 23, previously we've been modeling 23 like we draw two tens like this, and then we draw three ones. And I call this literal because not only does uh, to model the two, the 20, not only do we put two in the tens column, but we also literally label them as tens. Well, if you think about it, that's a little redundant. If it's in the tens column, it already is a 10. So we don't need to label these as tens, nor do we have to label these specifically as ones because they're already in the ones column. So in this lesson, what we're going to do is to model 23, we're still going to use the place value chart, but we're going to do something a little bit quicker and just put dots. Two dots in the tens column, three dots in the ones column, and that's going to be how we're going to represent 23. So before you go moving on, make sure your, your students understand the difference from this to this because this is the more efficient way of doing it, and it's going to get us, I don't know, I think it's just going to be more efficient in getting us to that official subtraction method. So in this one, it says complete this, the problem by subtracting vertically. So that's that standard algorithm. However, we are going to use the place value chart as a scaffold to make sure we're doing it correctly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to record 54 minus 28 like this. And uh, when we model it, 54, here's our five dots in the tens column. And here's our four dots in the ones column. So that's 54. Now, before we subtract, we should see that we're going to need to do some unbundling because we're supposed to take away eight ones, but we only have four ones. So we know we're going to have to do some unbundling. So let's go over to our chart, and we're going to take this one dot, and that's actually a 10. Because it's in the tens column, this dot represents 10. So I'm going to take that 10, and I'm going to unbundle it, and he equals 10 ones in the ones column. So what does that look like in our, our standard algorithm? It looks like, well, instead of having five tens, we now have four tens, because you can see that right here. We now have only four tens. And instead of having four ones, we now have 14 ones, because we used to have four, but then we added 10 more. So now we have 14 ones. And now we can do our subtraction. This says take away 8 from the 14. So what is that going to look like? That's going to look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that leaves us with 6 over here. And I'm going to record that right here, 6. And then in the tens place, it says take away 2 out of the 4. So I'm going to take away 2. So I'm going to cross off 1, 2, and that leaves us with two left over. So I'm going to record a two right here. And so our answer is 26. So you could see what looks like the standard algorithm. However, we're using the place value chart as a scaffold. So let's do a little bit of practicing. We're going to take 31 minus 19, and we're going to write it vertically. And now we're going to record it over here. Here's our tens and our ones, and let's model 31. And 31 is three tens and one one. There's our 31. Now it says to take away 19, which means in the ones column, you can see we need to take away nine, but we only have one. So we're going to have to do some unbundling. So I'm going to take one of these dots in the tens column, and I'm going to cash him in for ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's gone because we cashed him in for ten ones. So what is that going to look like over here in our standard algorithm? 
Well, instead of having three tens, we now have two tens, because you can see that right here. And instead of having one one, we now have eleven ones, because we added ten more, because we cashed in a ten for ten ones. Now we can subtract. So in our ones column, take away nine from eleven. Well, if we take away nine from eleven, we can cross them off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, leaving us with two left over. So we have two right here. And then in the tens column, take away one ten from two. So we're going to take away one ten, leaving us with just one ten left over. So the answer is 12. All right, this is a cool one. We're going to start by writing it vertically, and I want to do it in black. So we're going to do it in 67, take away 44. Now if we look at this, look closely, do we have to unbundle in order to subtract the ones? Nope because it says to take away 4, and we have 7, so we could do that. Do we have to unbundle the 10s? No, it says take away 4, and we have 6. We could do that. So it turns out we don't need to unbundle anything, so this is pretty straightforward. 7 take away 4 is 3, and 6 take away 4 is 2. Nothing needs unbundling. We are officially done. Now, if we wanted to, we could model that, but I'm going to skip that one on this problem because I don't think we need it. Because we're going to do this one, and this one does require unbundling, so let's first off write it vertically, 82 minus 59. And now we can see in advance, uh-oh, right here, we're going to have to do some unbundling. It says we have two ones, take away nine ones. So 9 is bigger than 2, so we're going to have to do some unbundling over here with the 8. So let's draw our place value chart. 10s, 1s, and now let's model 82. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10s. So that's 82. There's our 82. So we modeled 82. Now it says to take away 59. So over here, we need to take away nine ones, but we don't have nine ones. We only have two. So we're going to take one of these tens and cash him in for ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's gone because we cashed him in for ten ones. So what do we have over here in our standard algorithm? Well, instead of having eight tens, we now have seven tens. And instead of having two ones, we now have twelve ones. Now, we have enough ones to take away the nine. So twelve, take away nine. I'm going to count on my fingers. I'm going to start with nine, and I'm going to go ten, eleven, twelve. So that's three. And then... In our tens col column, we have seven tens, take away five tens, so I'm going to count. Start with five, six, seven, so that's two. Two tens. So our answer is 23. And sure enough, if we wanted to do this for real, uh, we can. We could say, okay, 12 take away nine, so that means we're going to cross off nine over here. So we're going to cross off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine leaving us with 3, and then it said 5 take away, or 7 take away 5, so we're going to cross off 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, leaving us with 2, 2 tens, so the answer is 23. And that is grade 2, module 4, lesson 13, where we're still using math drawings, but we're really getting close to just moving and switching over to that official standard algorithm.